Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to send a link in an email and a link is a website address so when the person receives the email they can tap on that link like you do to watch these videos and it will open up on the website that you're sharing with them. So to start with you will need to find a website that you want to share um, within the email just to do this practice with. So I've gone into the BBC Good Food website and I've just tapped on um, one of the recipes on the home page and just found this particular recipe here. So I may want, if I wanted to share this with somebody else and just, you know, said, I thought you might like this recipe, I can send this over to them. One thing I want to just point out before we do that is, can you see the advert at the bottom here? Again, another advert popping up. If we just tap on that cross there, that advert will disappear and we can see more of this page. So if you do get adverts popping up like that, just always tap on the cross and it will go away. OK, so we want to send this uh, recipe um, to one of our friends. And if you remember, three dots on the right hand side always mean there's more things that you can do. So let's tap on the three dots and pick something from here. So we want to share this email with one of our, with a friend, um, somebody on our email list. So if you can just see the share button just there and that little icon, this icon here, if you see it on any website, is always means share, that little um, icon there. So let's tap on that. And it's giving me various options of how to share this link. Now, again, your layout might look slightly different to this, but you should have um, roughly the same things on your list. So I could share it to Facebook, for example, email, which is what we're going to do. I could send it in Messenger. Um, we won't worry about the others because we haven't got any of those at the moment. But you may have other, other options, depending on what you've got on your device, of how you can share this link. So for now, we're, go we're just going to share by email. So I'm just going to tap where it says Gmail. So it brings the link right through and pops it in straight into an email ready for us. Um, I'm just going to move the uh, keyboard out of the way with the down arrow at the bottom so that you can see. So it's brought us in, it started the email off for us, it's even put in um, a subject for us which we can keep or we can edit if we want to. You don't have to have that in, you can just rub it out or add something else in, that's not a problem. Obviously we need to put the to section in, so I'll just put my address in there and we just put our cursor just at the end of this link and just tap down or you can just tap underneath. Uh, we just need a capital there. So you can just type in, I thought you would like this recipe, for example. So you get the idea, you can pop in whatever you want um, on there. So let me go ahead and send this email just so that you can see what it looks like. I'll actually just send it to, back to the device itself. And we're just going to, it's okay. Even though, it, even though it's from this inbox, I can actually email myself, email myself back to check it. Uh, that's not a problem. You can email yourself. So we're just going to tap on the send button up there and away it goes. So we've clicked on send but then it's brought us straight back to the website that we were looking at which is fine. Um, you may well have heard the little, a little noise there, a little notification and if you have this on your device and you get the little M up there, it just means you've got um, an email that's arrived. So let's tap on the circle, go back to the home page, tap on mail, and we'll just wait for it to update. And this is, you can see here, 
the emails arrived uh, from me to me they just here now we know we've not read this email because you can see that the start of this email is in bold compared to these that we read before. So that's how you know if you've not read an email that it's it's in bold, it's in dark black writing. So let's tap on it. And then you can see here that the writing was in black when we sent the email. But what it's done, it's turned it into blue writing. And if you remember from what I've told you before, um, when something's in a different colour like this, usually on a website or an email, it means you can click on it. And you also know it's a link because you can see the website address, https www.bbcgoodfood.com. So that's how you would know if you ever receive this, that that's a link that you can click on. Um, nothing's telling you, you just that's just how you'll know. So if we just do one tap on there, it will flash up and take us straight through to this recipe. Um, and that's, that's what will happen when the person you send this to receive this. So um, I hope that's useful. That's one of the easiest ways to send a link in an email. Um, we will have a look in the next video about copying links and doing it the other way around, going into a website and copying a link and some text and do that as well, because that's um, sometimes an, a different way that you can do this. And it's worth knowing both ways, to be honest. But have a try of that to start with. Again, if you want to send me an email to practice and see if I've received it, you're welcome to. And I'll reply back to you. And then look out for the next video.